Update 1 on what is now Super Typhoon Nuri, which is located in the Western Pacific, out at sea at this time. 150 mile per hour winds with a pressure of 926 millibars. It's position 17.2 degrees north, 132.5 degrees east, as of 3 p.m. UTC November the 2nd. The storm is expected to proceed towards the north or northeast um, and develop into a Category 5 Super Typhoon by the looks of things in the next 12 to 24 hours, an intensity it could maintain as far as the uh, end of tomorrow uh, before it begins to weaken as it heads towards Japan, possibly brushing the eastern coast near Tokyo and then moving off towards the northeast where it will eventually turn post tropical of course. Um, Obviously with the time of year it may happen more quickly than one would expect but we'll see how that progresses. Uh, but as you can see a very strong storm indeed, no other areas under the um, under threat at this time, it's only likely to affect Japan. Sea surface temperatures are fairly high, around 28 degrees or so, still very high even though we are approaching the winter months but uh, still sea surface temperatures going on strong, however they are uh, quite low near the coast of Japan as, as you head past the central part of the country. Wind shear though is on the increase, uh, very high amounts of wind shear towards the north of the storm and increasing over the Japan and that sort of area. Uh, around the area of the storm it's not too bad at this time but that could change rather quickly. Dry air is off to the, e uh, the west of the storm over the Philippines, Taiwan and the Japanese Ryukyu Islands um, but around the storm it's a fairly broad system which will probably help it in terms of dry air intrusion. So the computer models, the CMC, uh, takes the storm towards the northeast, pretty much as what was forecasted, uh, perhaps a bit more of an easterly heading at first before moving off towards the north and possibly another storm forming behind that. Uh, the GFS model uh, has perhaps a bit more of a direct route towards the northeast, again glancing the coast of Japan and another storm forming behind that, uh, possibly a new system forming in the Bay of Bengal as well, indicated by both computer models, um, possibly another landfall for India on, on the way. So looking at the latest satellite imagery, the storm's been moving towards the north, perhaps a little bit of a westward heading in that as well, a slight element of that. Uh, you can see quite clearly where the eye has been headed, uh, and you can see quite clearly there in the past few frames a bit more of a northwestward heading. That's probably not going to last very long, and the storm will then begin to move towards the northeast, but still. A very strong system we're looking at indeed. Um, the uh, eye wall is quite a broad one there and looks like a very impressive one, intense one too. A heavy rainfall around the eye and indeed strong winds gusting the Category 5 intensity and it really wouldn't surprise me if we saw a Category 5 storm in the next few hours. It seems to be almost a certainty the way it's going. Uh, but yes, it won't be as strong of course when it strikes Japan, probably Category 1 or 2. So as of November the 2nd at 3pm UTC, Vance is also a hurricane in the eastern Pacific now. Uh, winds of 75 miles per hour, a quick intensification in the past few hours on that one too. And of course we have Nuri and two other Invest either sides of those storms, uh, Invest 97W and 94E. 72 tropical storms have formed so far around the world in 2014, just 6 off 25th place to 2010, still the least active uh, year on record, but that's uh, not to be surprised about because we still have two months yet including the southern hemisphere 41 storms have become category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents four more than in 2010 and 11 and 25 have become category 3 storms this year which is also um, quite a high number too for this time of year you can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world storm-wise, currently undergoing a little bit of a makeover. Uh, and the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, as always, Force 13 on there. And the social pages too, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13 on there, at Force 13 on Twitter, regularly updated. And you can speak to me personally on Skype, at Fool13 on there for a tropical weather chat. That's all for now from this storm. The next update will follow, if necessary, in 12 hours' time. Otherwise, it will probably be at 9pm UTC, November the 3rd. That's all for now.